In Windows 10, we have the Windows Snipping tool. But in Windows 10X, we have the Snip and Sketch tool. So if we click on the Start button, click Show All. And we'll see this tool that has a lot more features than just the Snipping tool. So we'll click on Snip and Sketch, and it will launch up. Now I need something to snip, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up a website that I run just so we can have a picture to grab. And I'm opening one of my sites, so I don't have to worry about copyright issues. All right, so now we're at the New button at the top right. We have the option, if we hit the drop-down, to Snip Now, Snip in 3 seconds, or Snip in 10 seconds. So if we click on Snip Now, we can go over and just drag an area that we want, let go, and now it shows up on the right-hand side. And when I do that, all of these different tools at the top light up. So we can now use these guys. So the first option we see here is touch writing. And if I go in emulation mode over to the touch input, I can now draw using this touch writing. If I want to undo that, just click the undo button. And I can also use any one of these markers. So I have the red, blue, and yellow. So we'll just choose the blue one. So we'll just go ahead and do that, just to show you what that looks like. And we can also use, besides the undo button, we can also use this eraser button that we see here. So I can erase the whole thing just by clicking on it and using the eraser button. Now if I hit the drop down, we choose erase all ink as well. So if you have multiple different ink spots, then you can go ahead and erase those too. Another thing we see here is this ruler option. So I'm going to switch back to the cursor, click on ruler, and we see ruler here. And if we want, we can choose, say the red for instance, and we can draw a line along the ruler. And it makes a perfectly straight line, which is very cool. Now in this emulation mode, I can't seem to move the ruler out of 45 degrees, but uh, once you have the real Windows 10X, not in emulation mode, you'll be able to move that ruler around. Another interesting thing we see is the protractor, which I haven't seen in a long time since I haven't been in math class for a while. And you can do a similar thing. You can just draw a perfect circle or as much as you want all the way around. And we can make the protractor go away by clicking on it once again, but our circle still stays in there. Use the Erase button again. We'll just click on Erase and Erase All Ink. Here we have the Image Crop option. So if we click on that, Image Crop. Now we have the ability to crop out parts that we don't want. And at the top, we can choose to accept it or to cancel. Now you have to be careful because if you go up too high you get the red X. And now we see that it has this new image that we just cropped. Next we can zoom in like that. We can choose to save the file. We can choose to copy it and paste it in something else like Word for instance. Choose this button all the way on the right hand side. It says see more. So we can open a file, print it, send feedback, go to settings, such as ask to save the SNP before closing, open SNPs in separate window if you want. So various different things you can do in the snipping tool. So I hope that gives you a good overview of the snip and sketch tool that is available in Windows 10X.